Hey, this is Knife Standards. Today I'm going to be doing a quick unboxing and first impressions of the uh, Wear Knives Lucas P. Um, this is the production version of one of his custom knives called the Lucas, and we'll get into all of that in just a second. But first, please follow me at Knife Standards. You can follow me on Instagram, and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for a lot more knife content and weekly knife reviews. All right, cool. So here we have the Lucas P, the Lucas production. This is by Wear Knives, W-E-H-R. And the, <coughs> excuse me, the man behind Wear Knives is Matthew Wearwin. Wearwin. Um, you can see model, MW, Matthew Wearwin. Um, no inlay, I got the full titanium. You guys know how I love my titanium frame locks. S35VN, and of course, um, Belt Satin, day 2021. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and get into it. What do we have in here? All right, so plain, this is a very uh, Riot-ish uh, Riot box. This knife, of course, was produced by Riot. Let's have a pouch in some plastic. Let me get rid of the plastic. Um, Cool. So that's his um, Wear Knives logo, and let's get it get it opened up. Okay, and sticker Wear Knives Production Series Series Number One, twenty twenty one. So this is his first. Yeah, I'm pretty, this, I'm pretty sure this is his first production run. S35VN, 3.25 blade, 7.5 overall, ceramic bearings, detent, titanium frame, titanium frames, Matthew Werwin, Werwin. Okay, cool. So I'm going to put that back, get the sticker, cool, America. Um, let's get that put away and let's check out this knife. Whew, man, I love titanium frame locks. Some people are, you know, it's like too plain for them, but something about that just, even when I first started getting into knives, I'm just, oh man, just can't beat a titanium frame lock. Man, oh man. Okay, cool. So again, this is a production version of uh, one of his custom knives. And I think, I think his, I think his books are closed. I don't think you can, you know, just get on his books. I feel like, He's pretty damn busy, but this is a cool opportunity for maybe someone who wanted to be on his books and couldn't. Um, now you can, well, although <laughs> these went pretty quickly too. So these are in high demand. These are hard to find. They just did the drop. But I feel like, you know, for me, if I wanted to be on his books and I couldn't, boom, I could get one of these. Although, again, they are hard to find. Blade centering, perfect. This feels very, uh, you know... Riot ish. It actually feels a lot like um, the uh, Bird Blades Iron Pup. I'm getting some Iron Pup vibes. I'll definitely bust that one out for um, for uh, size comparison. And yeah, this is this is pretty solid. Nice clip. All right, let's go ahead and get it flipped. Boom! Snappy detent. We have a an excellent hollow grind from Riot, of course. Riot does great work. I feel like the top two OEM companies are Riot and Best Tech. They're doing the highest quality stuff. Really excellent grind lines. We have some so satin flats, nice swedge coming down, and then of course this whew, vertical belt satin hollow. Drop, uh, I want to say drop point, but this is, nah, this is, I'm going to go with clip, yeah, this is clip point, because it is clipped. Clip point blade shape. S35VN. Interesting blade steel choice. I'm, you know, the more knives that I get, and the more I get into the knife world, the less I care about the steel. I mean, as long as it is a solid steel, it doesn't have to be freaking magna cut or you know it doesn't have to be a super steel although it's nice you know i'm not going to complain um but if it's a good steel I'm, I'm all for it you know that's i'm not gonna 
I'm no longer a steel a steel snob. Um, but it's interesting. S35 VM, I don't know, interesting choice. I feel like they could have easily gone with M390 and or 20 CV or something. I don't know. It's just I mean I'm not I'm not I'm not mad at it. That's 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 a it's a it's it's fun. it's a good steal, but an interesting choice. You see the uh, lock bar relief cut. That could have been, I don't mind it, but that could have been on the inside of the scale. A lot of screws going on for the clip and the scale, but again, nothing, not, you know, none of these are deal breakers. Steel lock bar insert, yes, lockup looks pretty good, but maybe 25%. These are some chunky thumb studs, man. And they are sharp, but let's see how yeah, pretty smooth. Let's see if I can middle finger flick it. But yeah, so D10 is great. I mean, I, I wasn't really worried about that. Nice little shaker close. So the thumb studs actually feel really good on deployment. And that's kind of the way it is with some machined, I'm assuming these are titanium, with some machined parts, machined titanium. Um, if you kind of go, you know, ridge by ridge and feel everything, sometimes it can be a little sharp. But when you're actually using it, and, you know, the point of this is to push on the side of it to open the knife it feels fine Ooh, pretty droppy nice gotta watch my fingers solid i really like the action let's see how it feels in hand that's actually a great sound great really great sound for for a frame lock i like that a lot so this jimping is great it's really kind of thin thin jimping but grippy my thumb's not going anywhere. I do, now I do feel the butt end of the clip. Hmm. Now that is not. It's it's just so interesting because everything else is so damn comfortable. It's like comfortable, 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 amazing, amazing. And then I just this is just digging into my hand. So maybe I'll get used to it. Some knives are just not made for, you know, your specific hand. But for me, it's just, eh, I guess it's not that bad. I don't know. But I, I'm curious to see how this thing carries. Get it in get it in the pocket. Pretty cool. I mean, I, I like it. These, again, these, there was a pre-order and then something happened with the pre-order and it got delayed. And these have been a long time coming. And then they did a drop, which... I think, did I miss the first drop or something? I did not do the pre-order. I got, I think he's, oh yeah, yeah. So he, he was gonna do a drop and then they're gonna do a Blade HQ drop. And I knew, ugh, Blade HQ is just, I just, I, I didn't wanna bother with that. So um, I think I, I think, yeah, I think I just, I, I got these from, from Wear Knives uh, s straight from him and got kind of lucky. There were uh, two other versions of this knife with inlays. And they had, um, I mean, a pretty cool kind of acid, dark washed um, blade finish and then micarta inlays. Micarta doesn't really do it for me. So I went with the plain, the plain one, but maybe if I back my hand off a little bit. I don't know, I'm struggling to find kind of a comfortable grip because this is poking me, but it does look like a nice, like initially you heard me, it looks like a nice clip. I wonder why it's not farther back seems like they could put the clip farther back and have one screw going through the top of the clip through the back spacer to the other side to the other scale because it is it's not it's I mean I don't need my clip to be deep carry but it's kind of an awkward place and I wonder if that's what I'm feeling is that it's just a little bit low on my hand I don't know um internal milling looks great Whoa, some some serious milling going on. Those are really big pockets. Wow. Up top, like from from here up, it feels great. Like I mean that this little ridge to put your thumb feels awesome. Of course, it looks amazing. I'm sure this will slice really well. Oh no, do I have any paper? <laughs> I was gonna. Oh, I keep. I always forget to do like a quick edge test. You know what? Let's see. I am going to, I'm just going to tear off this cardboard. I'm not saving the paper box, so it doesn't matter. I'm just, I just tore part of the, uh, the box that it came in. Yeah, edge is, edge is great. 
And that's what I expect from Riyadh, from, you know, a quality OEM. The knife is going to be damn sharp. This isn't a, <laughs> this is not a Migron. Um, boom, really snappy, solid detent. I like this knife. I mean, there are, there are some things that I'm definitely going to have to, you know, kind of keep an eye out for. Um... And, and carry it and see how it is in pocket. But I, I love titanium frame locks. I love thumb stud knives. I'm all flippered out. So this is this is definitely right up my alley. It looks freaking amazing. Super sexy grind and aesthetics. Um, I'm, I'm looking forward to carrying this. So I'll keep an eye out uh, for any issues with it or any things that I, I, I really enjoy. And I will be back with a full review. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Knife Standards. I'll catch you later.